much next time. <laughs> you could come with us, you know. Oh, yeah. We could use your input. <laughs> I don't think anyone's going to care about my input concerning a baby shower. Oh, come on. You're the godfather. You could oh, pick no. out the um, napkins. <laughs> Good. Oh, thank you. Leave <laughs> him alone. You women, you pick everything. If you like it, we men love it, right? Exactly. Pretty I'll simple. see you there. I will see you there. So what time is Reverend Rutledge meeting you here? Uh, in a few minutes, I, I, I guess. We're going to be working on the food drive. Okay, well, I'm going to come back and help you with that once I finish with Beth. Okay. They look really happy, don't they? Yeah, they do. I guess he's never going to tell her that um, Alan is really that baby's father, is he? Not if he's smart. Ooh, careful, that, that brick is a little loose. Oh, you take such good care of me That's and right. the baby. That's right. Mm -hmm. Dr. Bauer? Yes. I'm Spelling. I'm the new OB resident. Oh, doctor, nice to meet you. This is my wife, oh, Beth. Beth, great to meet you. Now, I'll be overseeing your prenatal care until Dr. Sedwick returns from her family emergency. I didn't even realize that she left. Uh, Beth, I'd like you to come by the office and set up an appointment. Uh, I'd like you to come by for a couple more tests. Sure. More, more tests? What? Yeah, oh, just some extra blood work. And I'd like to do work up on you, too, doctor. For some reason, your blood type isn't even in the file. That's strange. Yeah, well, listen, uh, this is great that we ran into each other, and since you're new on the staff, it would probably be helpful to you for me to run some things by you, just to catch you up to speed. Okay, okay. listen, uh, once you go over to Towers with uh, Cassie, and I'll catch up with you later, okay? Oh, oh okay, all right. all right. And I'll make that appointment right now. Uh, when would you like to come in? I have an opening tomorrow afternoon. You're not running any more tests. Hello, Lillian. Frank, hi. You here for lunch? Uh, well, are you kidding me? On a cop salary? I don't think so. <laughs> no, I actually came by to uh, question a witness that just happens to work here. I'm here on my nurse's salary. You see, I've gotten into all these bad habits by living with the Spaldings all those years. Yeah, well, I bet you're glad you're out of there, right? Oh, it was the best decision I ever made. Well, next to asking my father out for a date. <laughs> yeah, that was a really good decision. Oh, that's good. That's good. You know, I always thought you guys would make a great couple. Uh, and listen, are you going down to that uh, festival that's down by the, la the lake this weekend? Oh, I don't know anything about it. You guys should go. Well, boss has to ask me. Well, you know what? I'll take care of their right Oh, no, now. no, we'll no, 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 no. You, you let your father and I take care of our own dates, Frank. Sorry. I'm just so happy to talk about anything other than my daughter's love life. Hey, Cyrus, it's Marina uh, again. Please call me when you get this. Bye. Alexandra. Marina, what a surprise. Well, I sure hope you plan on giving Cyrus a raise. Why, are you his agent now? I wasn't aware. <laughs> no, I just want to talk to him, and every time I try to call, I can never seem to reach him. I need well, to give me something. the message, and I'll get, pass it on. To That's you. kind of personal. Then never mind. Okay, well, someone has been spreading rumors about him, and I thought he should know. What kind of rumors? That he's getting married to someone here in Springfield, a U.S. citizen, to avoid deportation. Oh, such rumors. Yeah, well, it's probably not even true. I mean, I'm sure it's not, but I just thought I should tell him. No, it's true. How do you know? Because I'm the one he's marrying. Hey. Family. Destiny. Light. Hope. Charity. Friendship. Love. Faith. Laughter. Joy. Kindness. Understanding. Peace. Forgiveness. Happiness. Love. 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 There is a destiny that makes us brothers. None goes his way alone. All that we send into the lives of others comes back into our own. Let me take a wild guess what you ladies are chatting about. You're marrying her? Please tell me this is a joke. Alexandra found out I was in trouble with my immigration status and she very generously stepped in. Anything to help a friend. Oh, you're quite the humanitarian. <sighs> well, would you rather he be deported? No, of course not. Now we don't have to worry about that. I'm here to stay. Right, as Mr. Alexandra Spaulding. <gasps> Marina, this is a good thing. No, no. So this is just an, an arrangement, some agreement to try to beat immigration, that's it, it? It's a way of me staying here, here. There are other ways. N none that I could see. So what does this mean? You, you move in with her? Did she still pay you a salary? Not exactly. So you just become a Spalding? 
that's not such a bad thing to be somebody. You already are somebody. You know oh. what I mean. Marina, this is a business deal. Okay, in a business deal, both partners generally get something out of it. What do you get out of this, Alex? I get the satisfaction of doing something good. I don't think she's gonna believe that. No. Okay. Then I get to keep my driver. I happen to like Cyrus, and I trust him, and there are very few people in this town I trust anymore. <laughs> Gee, I wonder why. <laughs> Marina, it's gonna work out. But, obviously, you can't say anything. I have to pretend like you two were in love. <laughs> you know, Cyrus did say you were a friend, and I suppose you're willing to help him. Are you willing to do whatever you have to to protect him? I'm not asking you to do anything you're not comfortable with. <laughs> oh, yes, you are, actually. I mean, it's a good question. It deserves an answer. After all, Marina is the one who got you in this mess in the first place. All those guys down there, not one of them's right. <sighs> uh, what are you looking for, Frank? Well, I'm looking for somebody dependable, solid. I mean, uh, somebody doesn't have a criminal record. I... Lillian, I'm talking about a guy for my daughter here, okay? I know. I'm All just right. being lighthearted and Good. funny and... Yeah, well, you know what? My daughter, bless her heart, she picks one bad guy after another. But this time, I finally stepped in and, and did what any normal father would do. I broke the guy's kneecaps. I'm teasing. <laughs> I just, uh... I just encouraged him to leave town, is what I did. How? I, uh, I called immigration on him. You didn't? Yeah. Well, better that than having him break my little girl's heart, which he ended up doing anyway by finding some girl to marry. Is Marina still talking to you? Yeah, barely. But you know what? I'd rather have her mad at me than have a broken heart. Yeah, but she's going to end up with both. You know, Lillian, I just want to protect her. I do know. You've watched me taking care of Beth year in, year out. But she always ended up doing just what she wanted to do. Yeah, well, that's why dogs are better than humans. Yeah, but Lizzie's dog won't pay any attention to me either. <laughs> Lillian, you're not giving me any words of encouragement here. No, there are, there are some. I mean, the last time when Beth was in the Allen versus Rick debacle, I just decided I was going to step back and let her sink or swim. Hmm. Rick versus Allen. That's not much of a contest. Well, with Beth it was. But she made the right choice. Marina will, too. I'm merely being prudent. And I appreciate your thoroughness, doctor, but Margaret Sedwick has kept me abreast of my wife's situation every step of the way. And now she's gone and left me in charge Dr. and told me to Spelling, run her since cases. you're new to this, let me tell you how this all works. Cedars, like most hospitals, are under a tremendous amount of scrutiny. Uh, insurance audits cost us a fortune. And right now, we have a very good relationship with our providers. And the reason is that our doctors aren't test happy. But if, in my opinion, I think that she... Your opinion gained in... What? How many years have you been out of medical school, doctor? Two? Three, maybe? Dr. Bauer, with all due respect, if I think your wife needs a certain test, I'm going to order it. And if you think you have a problem with it, Please, by all means, take it up with the board. Bad move. Uh, hi, could you put me through to Charles Grant, please? Thanks. Hey, Charles, it's Rick. I'm good, good, thanks. Listen, I have a question for you. Uh, this new kid, Spelling, um, who put him in the OBGYN rotation? Oh, okay. Um, what are his qualifications exactly? Uh-huh. Well, um, I think he's a little... Well, listen, Charles, what I think is that he's not capable of covering for Dr. Sedwick. He's, he's young, a little green, and quite frankly, a lot of the patients have, you know, made some negative comments about... You know, um, if you want to help me out here, I'm just grouping things into sort of similar you know, products here. I always felt that the uh, silent judgment was the worst kind. Well, I'm just out here with my cans, you know what I'm saying? I'm not proud of it. I'm not proud of what? Sounding like Alan. You're not Alan, Rick. Well, it's certainly something he would have done. 
Maybe so. He's a, he's, he's a new young doctor, and he was taking over best case. He was going to run some diagnostic tests on both of us. I just couldn't let that happen. Uh, no, I guess you couldn't. I, I wasn't going to fire him, just get him shifted. Away from you. I know what I did was wrong. Yeah, but you see, that's exactly why you're not Ellen Spaulding. You're not the same. I'm lying about the baby's paternity. Ellen did the same thing. The same thing. Why do you dump this in my lap? Hey, would, would you rather you never knew? No, it's maybe. I, you know what? I don't know. You, I don't know anything. Rick, you know what? It doesn't matter how you found out. It really doesn't. It's your information. You can do whatever you want with it. It's not my business. It's not anybody else's business. Cassie switched the test, didn't she? Why would you think Josh. that? She was the only one at the hospital. How else would you have possibly known? She hates Alan for what he did to Tammy, and I don't, I don't blame, I don't blame her for that. But it, it does make me a little curious about how the two of you are handling this whole thing. <laughs> We're handling what whole thing? Josh, right? the fact is, is that you disagree with your fiance. I'm sorry, am I wrong about that? I mean, Cassie and I are different people. We disagree on some things. But the fact is we're committed to each other. We love each other very much. And so we talk and we listen. And we respect each other's opinion. And above all, we're honest with each other. And I have got to believe that that's enough to get us through pretty much anything. Keeping this thing from her is driving me crazy. I can't even imagine. I right, listen, uh, good luck with this, um, but I really need to go. Oh, by the way, Josh, thanks. For what? For not telling me what to do. Letting me find my own... Letting me find my own way through all of this. Fudge moose cake is a keeper. Yeah. But then so is that chocolate grenache. <laughs> <laughs> well, maybe we should just do both. Yeah. You're right. Why not? <laughs> Perfect. Okay. Invitations. Invitations. How cute is this one? Oh, so cute. Isn't it? Works for me. You are just so easy. Oh, no. Well, after everything I've been through, this baby. Decorations. How about, uh, do you want balloons and streamers or a theme of some kind? Wait, do I have chocolate? Oh, no, 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 no. I, I was just, um, I was just thinking how much you hated me just a few months ago. I never hated you. I never hated you. I hated Alan for what he did to Tammy, and I hated that you stood behind him because I knew you were better than that. Not always. That's, that's all behind us now. Yeah. Yeah. So much has happened. And things are great now, right? I mean, you married the guy who's been your best friend your whole life, and, and you're going to have a baby. Yeah, and it's, it's all right. It's everything, everything turned out for the best. I see that now. But you see, I, I did have feelings for Alan. I know, I know that that's very hard for you to understand. It's hard for anybody to understand, but I did. I'm just, I'm just glad that this baby turned out to be Rick's because it would have made it a lot harder to choose him if it wasn't a lot. I know what you're thinking. What? What should I buy the couple who has everything? It should have happened. Well, it hasn't happened yet. No, I mean your beef with immigration. I know how they found you. Someone gave them your name. You know who turned me in? Very well. <sighs> your father. Good guess. I'm so sorry. 
I had no idea that he would go this far to... Keep me away from you. I guess Alexandra figured it out. That's what her little dig was about. Well, it's not your fault. No, but if you and I were it's together, It's not your then... fault. I hate that you have to do this. What? It's not like I'm walking the plank. I'll be living in luxury with all kinds of opportunities. I could get my own business started. No, I, I understand why you have to do this. I just don't trust her motives. Marina, look at me. My marriage to Alex isn't going to change anything for us. I don't even know what us is. Come on, yes, you do. Hey, maybe it'll be exciting. Have you ever been with a married man before? <laughs> yes, ironically enough, and it sucked. Well, this won't, I promise. Was she really your only choice? Did you ever think about anybody else? Why? Do you know someone else who'd be willing? Look, I'm not saying that I know someone who'd want to marry you or that could marry you or someone that you would even want to marry. I couldn't ask anyone else because it's a lot to ask, too much to ask of someone who... I, I wouldn't ask anyone else. Right. Well, that seems fair. So, we're okay then? Yes. I'm just worried about you, okay? I, I've never known someone to get involved with the Spalding and walked away unscathed. Bad memories. Yeah. Look, I'm not new to this game, and it's not a real marriage. Okay, so what do you do? You get married at a church, or...? No, justice of the peace, uh, standard vows. We'll be out of there in 15 minutes. People are going to be suspicious. Who's ever going to buy this thing between you two? Everyone. Oh, Cyrus, come on. A known thief and con artist marries a, a, a wealthy older woman? That oh. never happens. Pardon me for interrupting, but, uh, well, I think we need to set a date. And I have to be back at the office right away. So, how does Thursday sound to you? Fast. Works for me. Good. I'll make all the arrangements then. Alex, we're talking about something very low-key, right? A brief civil ceremony, maybe dinner afterwards, nothing more than that? Low-key, something, yes, absolutely straightforward. Uh, well, the only thing we're going to need is a witness. Maybe Marina would do the honors. Me? Hmm. I'm sure your niece would do it, or your brother. I'd be honored. You would? Yeah. Thanks so much for thinking of me, Alexandra. Oh. <laughs> well, <clears throat> it looks like I have some plans to make with my fiance, so why don't I walk you to your car? I'll be right back. You don't have to walk me to my car. I'm trying to get you alone so we can make our own plans. How about dinner Thursday night? That's your wedding night. Yeah, but when is a wedding night not really a wedding night? when it's not really a wedding. <laughs> so, do we have a date? Okay, I'll see if I can put you in. Alexandra? Oh, oh hi, I can't darling. believe oh, oh. we've gone from seeing each other every day to hardly ever I seeing know, each other. I know, I know, and I meant to call you every day too. It's okay. Mm -hmm. How's the new place? It's just fabulous, but I bet that house of yours is just so lonely without all of us, right? Uh, <laughs> not really. <laughs> <laughs> Hey, <laughs> look at all this. Yeah, I hope there's enough room in my car. Well, if there isn't, I'll take some of it in my car. How's that? Hey, you want to see pictures of my new nephew? Absolutely. Hmm? <laughs> what a good-looking kid. Oh, is everything good? Oh, good for, ah. Uncle, uh, <laughs> good for Uncle Steve. Not so good for my sister, who hasn't slept in a week. Sweet. And you? Are you, uh, recovered? Um, from what? Well, from your adventure filling in for me? Oh, yeah, yeah. The headaches are starting to go away. I still have a sort of nervous tick thing going on. <laughs> and the nightmares? Mm -hmm. Ah, working on it. Yeah, well, I'm glad to hear it. Oh, you know what? I was thinking, um, I'd like to get together, maybe buy you a beer, pick your brain a little bit, just some questions I have about some stuff I've been yeah, looking great. at. Um, are you free Thursday? Actually, I just got booked for that night, a wedding. Alexandra oh. Spaulding. <laughs> okay. I, I didn't even know she was dating. Yeah, well, she sounded pretty excited about I it. I would think she would be, mm -hmm. yeah. And, uh, what about your wedding? Uh, what about it? I'm just checking on the progress. Uh, well, you know, we're moving forward. 
going slow. I mean, I, I want her to be <clears throat> uh, comfortable. I'm letting her uh, set the pace. I want her to be comfortable. With the timing? With everything. So we can set up the gifts over here. Mm. Baby things. I love baby things. <laughs> Me too. <laughs> and these are all going to be gifts from friends who wish us well and not expensive things from Alan's business colleagues. Just more proof that I married the right man. <laughs> oh, and speaking of the handsome devil. <laughs> Cassie, I need a moment alone to talk to Beth. Is everything okay? Yeah, I just need to talk to you. So. Did, the, did the doctor say something bad about the baby? No, that... Beth, the baby's fine. Okay. Cassie, please. Of course, I'll, uh, I'm just gonna check with the manager about you know, the things we talked about. I'm just gonna, okay. oh, 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 I'm so, oh. I'm so sorry. No, 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 it's, 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 I'm it's such okay. A it's, it's, I, it's, it's okay. You know what, I don't want this to set though, so would you just yeah, get yeah, some good, water good on that? Idea. Is this about what I think it's about? So when were you going to plan to tell me? I know you changed the task, Cassie. And I'm not sorry I did it. Well, that's good for you. But you know what? I can't. She needs to know that this child isn't mine. It's keeping me up at night. She needs to know the truth. You were going to tell her? She needs to know that this little girl isn't mine. OK, Rick, go ahead. Go ahead, make the biggest mistake of your life. Hey there. Hey, Dad, it is so good to see you. It is? Sure. I was just going to give you a call. I just got invited to this event, and I was hoping that you could be my date. What's the event? Oh, it's Cyrus Foley and Alexandra Spaulding's wedding. You should really be there. I'm sure they'd love to have you. Cyrus Foley's marrying Alexander Spaulding? I'm sorry, are you smirking? Uh, no, it's just that <laughs> Cyrus is marrying Alex? Do you need to see the invitation? No, no, actually it, uh, it makes perfect sense to me because, you know, just to, just in case you needed any more ammo to see if, uh, you know, Cyrus is a stand-up guy, which he really isn't, well, there you go, you got the marriage. What is that supposed to mean? What is that supposed to mean? Come on, honey, what are you talking about? He's marrying her to get his green card and her money. And you know what? She's marrying him for... Well, we won't get into that. Thanks. USCIS is not going to buy this. They're going to see, <laughs> see it for what it is. Uh, and how do you know what it is? Oh, come on, Marina. Have you ever considered the fact that Cyrus and Alexandra might actually have feelings for each other? No. Then you obviously haven't heard him talk. The marriage is real. Are you expecting me to believe that Alexander Spaulding is in love with Cyrus Fold? Look, you can believe whatever you want to believe, okay? I don't care. You're the one who pushed him away from me and into her arms. It's your fault. You should be proud. <sighs> Cyrus asked you to marry him. Well, technically, I asked him. But yes, we are getting married. I don't know what to say. <laughs> Say you're free on Thursday, because I have to have you there. Okay, but what's this about? Well, it's about romance, commitment... Lollipops, sunshine, bluebirds. Oh, come on, I'm supposed to be the cynical one. Well, I mean, I want to be happy for you, but this Cyrus man is... What, what, what? He's too hot for me? Good heaven, I've never heard you call somebody hot. <laughs> You've been hanging out with Lizzie, haven't you? Well, he is hot, isn't he? Well, yeah. <laughs> Mm. Well, okay. So here goes. But you cannot tell a soul. Let me guess. Just a wild guess. This is about Cyrus's immigration problems, isn't it? Not anymore. I, I can't believe you agreed to this. Well, I told you before, it was my idea. Cyrus didn't even want to do this, but oh. I had to work really hard to convince him. And what's in it for you? Oh, why is everybody asking me because that? Because it's the most logical question, Alex. Well, I... I... I get to do a favor for someone I really care about. Is that, is there anything so terrible about that? I... Well, are you telling me you care about this young man? Well, of course I care about him. There's something 
Special. Yeah, I see special things in him. I see that he's young. He's very, very, very young. Stop saying young. All right. Besides, I mean, <laughs> I, I get an escort. I get someone to have on my arm. Somebody hot. No, I get to travel. I have a companion to travel with. Someone that I trust, who's loyal. Oh, come on, we have a lot in common. I mean, he can, he's astounding. I mean, we share a great deal. And it's been a long time since I've had any fun with a man. <sighs> if something should develop, I will. But I'm sure it won't. Oh. Be careful, Alex. Be careful about what? <laughs> Driving. Lillian thinks I'm a terrible driver. <laughs> Well, I told her that's what I have you for. <laughs> that's all right. So I'll see you soon. Yeah. <laughs> Don't worry, Cassie. Josh didn't give you up. I knew that you changed the test. So clearly you've interfered with my life enough. You could leave now. I don't think so. I have until Beth gets back here to talk you out of this. I'm not going to be talked out of it. You cannot honestly tell me you think that Alan would be a better father for this you child than no you. You have no idea what I believe or what I think. You have made my life a living hell these past three months, not knowing whether or not this child was mine. The custody battle with Beth, thinking I was going to lose her to Alan. But you didn't Thanks lose her. Help. You didn't lose her. You didn't lose the baby. You didn't lose Beth. The baby isn't my child. Yes, she is, Rick. In all the ways what? that count, she is your child. But you have to really want it. You have to want this child to be loved, to be raised right, to not be another casualty of Alan's manipulations. Do you really think, do you think it was easy for me to change those tests? This isn't about you, Cassie. No, no, I'm not saying it's about me. It's not about you. It's not even about Beth. This is just about that little girl. And I did everything I could to protect her. I understand why Josh felt he had to tell you the truth. Now you know. But if you tell Beth, what do you think she's going to do? I have no idea she's what she's going to tell do. Alan. And then it's all over. Then you lose. Then the baby loses. Then Alan is right back in your lives again. He's in, he's in the baby's life for good. Is that really what you want? Of course it's not what I want. Then just hang in there. Rick, you and Beth just started something wonderful together. This is the life that you've always wanted. You think I don't know that, Cassie? I know you know that. And you know what else? You know that you never get over the loss of a child, whether it's your child or just if you love that child as your own. Think about Kevin. I... Do I have to remind you about Kevin? No. No, I, I love Kevin as if he was my own child. And when was the last time you spent some time with him? That's what I thought. Hey, how'd it go? Well, there may not be a shower now. What? What did you say to Rick? Nothing. You told him to come clean with Beth, didn't you? No, he came to that conclusion by himself. Is that what he's doing right now? I hope not. No, it, it just sounds like it was allergic reaction to some medication. You don't listen, I'm, I'm going to be doing rounds later on. I'll, I'll just swing by and, and check. Yeah, I'll just check on him, okay? Just just keep me posted. Okay, thanks. I had to take that. Did Cassie say why she had to leave? Um. Rick, is something going on here? I, you, you, said, you said before that you had to talk to me. Yes, it's, it's, it's really important. I really, I really think that we need to start picking out some baby names. <laughs> <laughs> I've been thinking about Philip Spaulding for some reason. 
When he turned 18, he found out that uh, Alan wasn't really his father. It colored the rest of his life. Affected a lot of people. Nothing good came out of that secret. Nothing. But this is completely different. Maybe. It is. Of course Philip was angry. He suffered through years thinking Alan Spaulding was his father. Years when he could have had a decent, good father. And this little girl is going to get to avoid all that. She's getting the right dad the first time around. Young lady, if you're expecting me to apologize for driving Cyrus Foley away from you, well, guess what? It's not going to happen here. This guy's about money and only money. And now he's going to be in a house where he's got hot and cold running servants and a wife who will buy him anything he wants. Anything he wants? Except you. You know, I thought the only way to get him away from you was to deport him. Well, guess what? This is even better now. Because when he settles into his little, new little lifestyle, you're going to see him for who he really is. And then you wouldn't want to be with him in a million years. It's lovely, isn't it? You know, they don't make those anymore. It's quite valuable. Yeah, six grand and change. It was my business. I knew my stuff. Oh, I guess I won't need an appraiser anymore, will I? I guess not. <laughs> Sit down. We have a lot to discuss. Ah, oh, is this the prenup conversation? First things first. Come on. We have to get to know each other. Uh, well, because when the USCIS comes knocking at our door, they're going to ask a lot of questions. Yeah, I heard they do that. Yeah. Ask all kinds of things <laughs> in this situation. You know, like what side of the bed do you sleep on? What toothpaste do you, you know, etc. No, yeah, we already know a lot about each other. <laughs> Not nearly enough, actually. I mean, and, and we have to make it look legitimate. I mean, like we're in love. Uh, you know, so tell me something. Tell me something. Well, we I'm going to take notes too, so okay. We don't want it to look too rehearsed. You know, we're both <clears throat> quick on our feet. I think it's better if we wing it, Alex. Well, <laughs> I, uh, I really don't know that much about you, so come on, you got to tell me something. All right. <clears throat> um, I sleep naked. This is Towers. Hi, yes. I'd like to make a dinner reservation for a Thursday night. Late, if you can, like around 8 o'clock. Uh, table by the window. Excuse me? Okay. Well, thank you. Anyway. Wait, are you, are you still there? Um, sorry. Would you mind telling me who the... The wedding party is for? Spalding. I see. Okay, thank you.
This has been Guiding Lightning.